Hello and welcome to another episode of today's GK. I am Tanu Solanki and in this segment we bring to you objective questions on daily basis to help you crack prelims. So let's begin with the practice question from our last segment. Consider the following statements regarding Tripura state rifles. It was established under an act passed by the parliament. It serves only the state of Tripura. Which of the above statements are incorrect? We have to select the incorrect statements. So the first statement here is incorrect. It was established by Tripura State Rifles Act 1983 which was passed by Tripura Legislative Assembly and not by the Parliament. The second statement is also incorrect. It can serve outside Tripura. It has in fact served in New Delhi in 2010 when Commonwealth Games took place. Which makes option C the correct answer. Both the statements are incorrect. Moving on to the next question. Consider the following statements. Mahavir Jayanti marks the birth of Vardhaman Mahavira who was the first state Sankara. Mahavira belonged to the Ekshvaku dynasty. Among the five teachings of Jainism, the Ahimsa was added by Mahavira. Which of the above statements are correct? So the first statement here is incorrect. Mahavira Jayanti marks the birth of Vardhaman Mahavira, who was not the first but last of the Tirthankara. He was 24th. Mahavira belonged to the Ekshvaku dynasty. This is correct. The third statement is also wrong. The teaching which was added by Mahavira was of Brahmacharya, not Ahimsa, which makes option C the correct answer, two only. Consider the following statements. Genetic Engineering Appraisal Committee is the apex body that allows for commercial release of GM crops, genetically modified crops. In 2002, the GEAC had allowed the commercial release of Bt cotton. More than 95% of the country's cotton area has since then come under Bt cotton. Bt cotton is the only genetically modified crop that is allowed in India. Which of the above statements are correct? So the first statement here is correct. Second statement is also correct. And the third statement is also correct. Which makes option D the correct answer. All three statements are correct. Let's see the explanation. In India, the Genetic Engineering Appraisal Committee is the apex body that allows for commercial release of genetically modified crop. In 2002, the GEAC had allowed the commercial release of Bt cotton. More than 95% of the country's cotton area has since then come under Bt cotton. Use of the unapproved GM variant can attract a jail term of 5 years and a fine of 1 lakh under the Environment Protection Act 1986. Bt cotton is the only genetically modified crop that is allowed in India. Which of the following organizations has made Covirap Diagnostic Technology? CSIR, Bharat Biotech, IIT Kharagpur and DRDO. So this was made by IIT Kharagpur. This Covirap diagnostic technology can also be used to test other vector borne diseases like dengue, malaria. Moving on to the next question. Consider the following statements regarding section 144 of CRPC. Section 144 of CRPC is used to prohibit assemblies of four or more individuals or to order mobile phone companies to block voice SMS or internet communication in one or more geographical areas. No order passed under section 144 can remain in force for more than three months from date of the order. Which of the above statements are correct? So the first statement here is correct. Section 144 was in news recently because it has been imposed in Gurugram. The second statement however is incorrect. It cannot remain in force for more than two months. And it can be extended by the state government, but that also only for six months, which makes option A the correct answer. Moving on. Mount Annapurna recently news is located in which country? Tibet, South Africa, USA or Nepal? Mount Annapurna is located in Nepal. Let's see the explanation. A team from Pune's premier mountaineer club, Giri Premi, Scale that 8091 meter tall Mount Annapurna 1, the world's 10th tallest mountain. It is located in Gandaki zone, Nepal. Consider the following statements regarding National Commission for Minorities. It is a constitutional body under Article 29. Tribals are notified as minority committee. Which of the above statements are correct? So the first statement here is incorrect. It is a statutory body which was constituted under National Commission for Minorities Act 1992 and tribals are not a minority community. Minority community in India are Muslims, Sikhs, Christians, Zoroastrians, Buddhists and Jains. So both the statements here are incorrect which makes option D the correct answer. Neither one nor two. 
the union government set up the national commission for minorities under the national commission for minorities act 1992 it makes ncm a statutory body six religious communities muslims christians six buddhists zoroastrians which are parsis and jains have been notified in the gazette of india as minority communities as per section 3 clause 2 of the ncm act 1992 the commission consists of a chairperson a vice chairperson and five members that is total of seven members to be nominated by central government from the person of eminence ability and integrity consider the following countries turkey iraq iran and jordan which of the above are neighboring countries of syria let's see this on a map here we have syria and its neighboring countries are turkey iraq jordan israel and lebanon let's mark this from the code given to us turkey iraq and jordan iran is not a neighboring country which makes 1 2 and 4 see the correct answer recently three people died when an iranian tanker was attacked off syria's coast anjengo revolt occurred in which of the following states west bengal bihar karnataka and kerala it took place in kerala let's see the explanation Anjengo revolt occurred 300 years ago in 1721 2021 marks the 300th year of the revolt it was a massacre of 140 east india company soldiers by native indians and the following siege of fort anjengo this revolt is often regarded as the first organized revolt against british authority in malabar cochin and travancore all of them are in kerala the main reason behind the resentment was large scale corruption and manipulation of black pepper prices by the company next question consider the following statements regarding european union it is a political and economic unit of 27 member states it has its headquarters in geneva switzerland which of the statements above are correct so the first statement is correct it has 27 members and it is a political and economic union the second statement however is incorrect it is located in Brussels, Belgium, and not Geneva, which makes option A the correct answer. Recently, the European Union is preparing for rapid assistance for India as it copes with a growing COVID-19 crisis that has seen record infections. The EU is a political and economic union of 27 member states that are located primarily in Europe. The headquarters of the EU is located at Brussels, Belgium. Which of the following is not the ex-officio trustee of the PM Cares Fund? Ministry of Defence, Ministry of External Affairs, Minister of Home Affairs, and Minister of Finance. So, Minister of External Affairs is the correct answer. Recently, PM Cares Fund has approved allocation of funds for setting up 551 pressure swing adsorption medical oxygen generation plants at public health facilities across the country. A dedicated fund with the objective of dealing with emergencies like COVID-19 under the name of Prime Minister Citizen Ass Assistance. and relief in emergency situation fund has been set up prime minister is the ex officio chairman of the pm cares fund and minister of defense minister of home affairs and minister of finance are ex officio trustees of the fund next up we have a practice question consider the following statements regarding judges of supreme court the constitution has prescribed 45 years as the minimum age for such an appointment they hold the office until they attain 60 years of age Which of the above statements are correct? Please answer this question in the comment section. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. We shall meet again tomorrow with another segment. Till then, stay safe, stay updated.